Okay, so I got a uh, a little problem here. I had a bit of wheel wobble, and I asked a couple guys on a forum uh, what it could be. And I know it's dark here. And they said that the track bar, the front track bar bolt. Let's see if I can turn my flashlight on here the front track bar bolt you need to torque to a hundred foot pounds which is the bolt right up under there and uh... they told me to torque it to a hundred foot pounds um, that was eighty foot pounds of torque and uh... that was with that ratchet tightening it. That ratchet's about 14 inches long. Um, do not torque that to over 65 foot-pounds. Do not do it. So what I did, I went and I got a, a 7 uh 7 16 uh, grade 8 I'm going to change it to a 7 16 caterpillar bolt as soon as I can. Um, cuz our our the closest good caterpillar dealership is 60 miles away. So what I did is I took the nut the uh, 7 16 nut which is right there and I took a piece of this flat bar here and I mounted the nut welded the nut like that because the piece is on an angle to go up in there and this is what I have now there's the the flat bar if you can see that the uh, straps in the way for the camera there's the flat bar up in there and that's a 7 16 grade 8 bolt and that's torqued to 70 foot pounds uh, I looked on uh, this company uh, crown bolt uh, it says maximum torque for a 7 16 grade 8 is 75 I put it down to 70 um, I tightened it down the other day and my wheel wobble went away um, if you can see on there you could see the ring around there um, it was wobbling but now with that 7 16 in there it's extremely tight in there and uh, I actually had to drill this out the bushing and that um, none of my ball joints are loose none so the only other thing they say is this can be loose or this bushing is bad this isn't loose and this bushing is not bad so if it's a wheel wobble um, if, if it's a uh, something else I don't know what the fuck to do so if that doesn't solve my problem I'm fucked and yeah I still need to put my skid plate on and we had a bit of a uh, short in some of my electronics today you can see the burnt wire there um, what happened was I had a switch in that ammo box and the electrical tape around the switch uh, wore through from it bouncing around in the box and it grounded out and shorted um, everything is good though except for about two feet of wire uh, I really need to take this bumper off and paint it I have a trip coming up planned because um, I'm actually working I'm gonna go uh, visit where we buried my dog so, anyway, yeah, so, do not tighten that to over, this is metric, and this is 7 sixteenths, and this will actually slide over, <laughs> so, yeah, and I do have a spare bolt in there. I was going to punch it out to half inch, that's what these are for, and that there, 
I was going to punch it out to half inch because half inch you could torque to over 110 foot pounds. But anyway, that's what's going on. That's what happened today. Luckily, I was home when I snapped it and I wasn't at work. And I actually used this bolt to get me to uh, Osh. It was three inch was a dollar five. You guys can't see that. It was a dollar five for a three inch uh, seven sixteenths bolt. A dollar nine for a pack of six washers. And my other uh, seven sixteenths by ha uh, two and a half is in the back in case I need it. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna pick up, pack up here, and go inside and upload this. Friggin' right, chooch it. <laughs>